Hello everyone, Artwick of Annette here, and welcome back to Portal 2. Today we're going to be doing something different. As some of you may or may not know, there's been a new uh, add-on towards uh, Portal 2, and that would be that you can create and have other people play uh, test chambers. I've created two myself, but that's not what we're here to see today. <laughs> the Splution Richmond Center and Artwick's Bounce Tower of Doom, those are both available on, you know, Steam. But those are for another time, I suppose, or if any of you want to take on the challenge. They're more silly than they are puzzles, but bleh. No, today I'm going to do some uh, maps that have been presented to me by various members of the, uh... Of, uh, the Team Madness. Of Team Madness, you know, from, uh, the Minecraft series. That's what I'm here to do today. Um... Let's see, which one's... Okay, okay, right here. This one right here was created by Jet Rocket Boy... Uh, better known as Clink to viewers. And I'm going to be doing his test today. Let's give it a try. Congratulations, Clink. You have the honor of being the first person of the team whose test shall be played through and recorded. Derp. Uh, thus far I have, um, four maps in total from the group. I've got clinks, I've got casses, I've got metal, uh, not metals. I've got, um, spies, and I have, um, randoms. For those of you who aren't aware, um, the last, the latter three names come from people who have just recently joined the series. They were the, you know, the newcomers that we introduced in the jungle part of the, uh, Minecraft series. Just a heads up that the cloud's still waiting. I don't think that thing's going to go away, so somebody might want to get out there. Also, brief note of explanation. Um, there, t uh, Cave Johnson, the, the sort of plot behind this sort of, um, this add-on series is that Cave Johnson apparently tapped into a multi-dimensional series of multiple Earths, and apparently, um, that's how... They managed to create all the tests, and apparently the cloud or whatever is a sentient overlord that, um... A sentient overlord that's kind of taken over their project or something? I'm not sure. It's silly. That's what it is. It's a bunch of silly. Oh, and I can appreciate how it actually says Pants Derp Chamber up there. That's kind of cool. Also note that, uh, these numbers won't be in order. That's just a number I have in the queue, but... This is number one. Consider it to be number one. Huh? Looks like Kling's giving us some excursion funnels. And it's in reverse, too. Interesting. Hmm. What's this do? Oh. Oh, I see. It spawns a cube, and if you lost one, then it gives you a new one. Hmm. Which probably means that there are ways to get the cube destroyed. Uh, what's over here? Uh, derp. No, but I can't figure that out. I have to get out of here now. Can I, can I perhaps jump in? No. That would have been... But too easy, I suppose. But let's go over here. And let's pick up this cube because I saw it and I want it. It's mine now, bitches. Um, alright, Clink, you've handed me a cube. Now what? Oh, right, right, there was a button over there, derp. Oh, I see. There is water down there. You can get this thing destroyed. That's not good. Okay. Um. Oh, hey. There's a button. Let's put you where you belong. Derp. Oh. That makes sense, actually. That does make a lot of sense. Good. Okay. The question is, where to now? Oh boy! I'm in a cycle. Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to go. Let's 
Ah, derp. Let me get myself over here. And then, uh, derp. Oh. Alright then. That was simple and straightforward, but I do like it. It was pretty much experimenting with uh, excursion funnels. Well done, Clink. Simple, but did what it needed to do. And I liked it. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's continue.